This is Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth, welcoming a first time or two uh, the program. She is such a lovely spirit. And uh, and we've met, I, I can't remember, I think the first time we met is when she was co-host of uh, Houston Life that comes on uh, Channel uh, 11. And then uh, we were involved in another television project, um, and I just loved her spirit, and she began to tell me her story. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the lovely Christine Kearns from Leap Wellness. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for having me. I'm oh, super excited. I'm, I'm glad that um, you're on the program because, you know, just through our just regular conversation, uh -huh. um, you were telling me... Um, about your journey uh, through health that you, you know you were a dancer and then you begin to have you know arthritis really bad and everything that you were um, going through the treatments and all that and you didn't like the way that it made you feel and so yeah. you went the holistic way and now that you are here and I was just so um, fascinated by uh, that story because it seems as though your story is a lot of stories that I hear. I, I actually have a friend of mine who uh, she, about a year ago, found out that she was um, HIV positive and mm -hmm. um, has been going through, you know, the motions and, you know, taking her antiviral uh, medication, uh, medication and, and all of that. But now she she doesn't like how the medicine makes her feel. Mm -hmm. And she's also determined to get the holistic treatment and to g really get the mucus that the HIV virus feeds off of in your body out of her body. So yeah. she can be free of the disease. And then of there course. are other doctors like the uh, great Dr. CB who um, has um, died now rest in peace to Dr. CB him and, and a couple of other doctors like Dr. Chow Choa. Um, mm -hmm. And so she's taking this journey through yeah. holistic uh, wellness and you have done that yourself and, yeah. and, and, and you're doing just fine. And I, and I Thank promise you. you, you know, I'm sorry, big farmer people, if you're listening, you're going to be upset <laughs> this morning, but I, I believe that holistic way is the best way. So it real, is, real, it is. real quick, Christine, to just so, give us a brief history of yourself and, okay. and, and what it is that, that you do. Okay. So my, I'm very much about advocating holistic wellness, especially for women to empower them kind of to move and push forward beyond that label in terms of their health diagnosis. So I was 20 years of age. I was very fit and healthy, mm -hmm. professional dancer at a, a theater school in the UK. And I had inflammation in my feet and um, a lot of pain in my feet and I had swelling in my knee and um, never been kind of injured or any of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So sought help with the GP, uh, took some bloods, uh, didn't know what was going on. My kind of inflammatory markers at the time were normal, mm -hmm. but the body was doing some strange stuff. So I sought help with a specialist. Mm -hmm. They sent me to a rheumatologist, which I didn't know what that was. A whatatologist? A what? Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> he said, you've got a, a kind of freak viral infection and we're going to treat it aggressively, fast, with medication. So as a professional dancer, I was like, cool, let's do this. You know, I need to get back out there and do right. my thing. I was 19 going on 20 years of age. So and anyway, I'm sure that was your, your, your way of living, right? Of course. Yeah. I mean, healthy, you know, working out eight hours a day, training, sure. all that stuff. Sure, a young invincible. So, of course, I, yeah. I, you know, trying my best. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so the doctors were very compassionate and supportive and said, you know, we really need to take care of this body absolutely was there no way in high heaven was I going to let a diagnosis take over my life at yeah. that point. So mm -hmm. somewhere within, I kind of struggled through. It was hard. There was a lot of heartbreak. There was a lot of tears. But um, I thought there was a better way forward. And it was like I was fascinated by the idea of an autoimmune freak, as they spoke, quote, viral infection. What, what was that? A freak viral infection is what they told you. A freak you. viral infection. It wasn't arthritis. I was seeing a rheumatologist, but uh, then the rheumatologist in the UK, kind of a top specialist said, we're going to give you some um, treatment um, by way of, um, it's a form of cancer drug. There was mecotrexate 
and we will try this, but if, if this doesn't work, we can use other things. And then we got to talking and they said, there's a new drug called sulfazalazine and we'll try you on this. And, and we'll, they sent me away with some medication and a diagnosis that was devastating for any young athlete, be it a sport athlete or, a, or an artist. And um, off I went and I was given a steroid injection on my knee. Mm -hmm. I was wheeled out on a wheelchair and I was told to come back in a month. So I went back in a month with a ton of questions. Mm -hmm. I was very, um, my body, I couldn't get out of bed. My knee had got so much worse. I mean, I was worse. I was in a bad way before I reached the doctors, oh, yeah. but the body mm -hmm. just shut down. Um, and I, I was struggling walking, I was struggling um, doing a lot of daily activities. So mm -hmm. for anyone, that's a challenge. But for someone who's so fit, there was a lot of kind of mental trauma that went with that. I'm sure. So we kind of got through that from a perspective of, I found a holistic um, practitioner who was a homeopath. Mm -hmm. And my friend was seeing her for a, a different autoimmune thing she, she had. She was dealing with ME mm -hmm. and it was very sad and she'd left university. She went to uni, I went to stage school and she said, go and see this lady, this Hilary Hampel, her name is in the UK, homeopath. What's that? You know, it all sounds a bit, you know, hoo-ha and woo-woo right, right, right. woo -woo at the time. And this was 15 years ago. So I mm -hmm. saw this lady and within one month, my knee swelling almost vanished and my pain in my joints were getting better. And she taught me about food, um, autoimmune kind of foods to avoid, acidity in a diet, gluten, wheat, dairy. And then it was my project to kind of get myself well because I thought I'd be getting back on the stage mm -hmm. to dance. Right. So, you know, the focus was there with the passion and the drive of the career, but actually the project became the body. So I read a ton of books, um, Eat to Be Arthritis, Curing Arthritis the Drug-Free Way. I went back to the doctors who thought I was woo woo hoo ha and were very concerned that I was doing all this kind of non-traditional right. stuff. And I had a respect for them, but I was saying, look, this stuff's working. For me. For me. And, you know, I want to help others now to, sh to show that journey. So in a nutshell, 15 years ago, I flushed literally the medication down the toilet and said to myself, and I understand, I respect, you know, people who go on that journey. There's some amazing, awesome people doing great research. As someone who the research was the physical body and the environment that I lived mm -hmm. and seeing the, the changes in my body from cutting out breads, cutting out alcohol. Mm -hmm. I could have some alcohol. I was 21 years of age. You know, right. my homeopath said, have a gin and tonic, have a vodka, vodka and lemonade, you right. know. Stay away from the dark spirits, the acidic wines, the, okay. the wheat-based okay. beers. Okay. So I went to university, I retrained, I got a degree in performance arts, struggled for a, f a few years with the, you know, it wasn't an easy journey, mm -hmm. KG, by any stretch. You know, there was a whole, you know, uh, th there was a whole kind of, it was uh, through the trenches, if you will. Sure. But seeing the, 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 the results and, and and kind of wowing, it, this doesn't make sense to me, but wow, this, this small homeopathic something is like, wow. And then the fascination of the education and going to Waterstones in England and picking up a book and people saying, you know, I, I was told by one doctor that I'd be in a wheelchair within five years. And they've, they scared me so many times in consultation that if I wouldn't take these meds, you know, I really, mm -hmm. my, my future was going to be very bleak. Mm -hmm. So, but I, th th those conversations made me more determined. And I was reading all these, I mean, I'm not a one-off, you know, there was the, the people that spoke out before me and shared their journey were those who'd been published that inspired me. And I was like, these are people in their fifties that have been on these medications for 15, 20 years, and they're now off them and they're playing golf or tennis. So, wow, I'm 20. I'm kind of young at the time. Right, yeah. Kind of so young, very young. Very young. I was, you know, I'm 37 now. So I was a spring chicken. I was like, gosh, you know, these, these have been, and they shared the pain and the, you know, you, you, you literally with, with RA, I mean, it's, a, it's an autoimmune degenerative disease. So mm -hmm. the body attacks itself mm -hmm. and it attacks mm -hmm. the joint lining and there isn't a cure is what you are told. And, and, you know, from my journey, I've been in remission for over 10 years now. I actually saw my, I, I do have a great relationship with my doctor. I do believe in an integrated approach 
we need those x-rays we need those bloods we need to work with those practitioners sure. however my my school of thought and my belief is that there is an inner light within us all that is kind of pushed mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. and sometimes when kind of adversity hits mm -hmm. it could be a cancer thing it could be a hiv thing it could be a autoimmune thing but mm -hmm. whatever a dis a disease mm -hmm. is a disassociation with the body yeah so you know a, a, a disease is a disassociation meaning there is a dysfunction in some kind of cellular activity and often if we can kind of correct those things and reach help with those kind of naturopathic nurturing supportive food nourishing you know some people who work with meds as well mm -hmm. you know I, I understand that's their journey but for me i 100 percent focused in the food as healing and the food medicine aspect of recovery and there has been relapses when i haven't stuck rigidly because who doesn't like to eat a piece of cake you know sure, and a cup of, of coffee right, right. so you know occasionally you'll do that and you'll feel the the pain, the pain. Mm -hmm. and literally the pain so for my body going through that journey you know, I, I've run my own business for 10 years now in, in event management and creative production. But um, recently, just this past year, I've had a baby mm -hmm. and, uh, and my body was great. I'd like to say I had a wonderful pregnancy and um, he's a healthy, happy boy and um, emotional. But um, the doctors who said to me, you know, I, w I was so scared for so long, KG, that, uh, you know, I, I held my friend's babies and I couldn't help them mm -hmm. you know the pain was right just, it was too much and it was like gosh you know when it comes my turn i might not be able to care for my own child and yeah. that kind of focus mm -hmm. is something that i think for any woman you kind of think that's not going to be my story and that's brought me on so it's you know i do have sometimes a risk support if i have a flare that feels a bit painful but mm -hmm. in general i am a hundred percent fabulously kind of joint happy i am working out five days a week i can bend and stretch like i couldn't when i was younger when i was i, I was a dance teacher when i had remission and q for um gosh i actually went back to the stage school that i left in 2005 and um, my former principal pulled me back which i'm so grateful and said to me, I want you to come back as a choreographer, contemporary dance teacher. And I was like, Miss Owen, you know, I can't do this. You know, the, the shoes have gone away. You know, I'm kind of this <laughs> other thing. I'm kind of doing the arts thing in a different, she said, no, 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 you're a dancer. And I was like, okay. So she gave me a body. She called it a body, mm -hmm. beautiful woman she is. She's retired now. She said, Christian, I'm gonna give you this lady, this young girl. She was younger than me, I was a bit older then. And she said, she can do the bits that you can't do and you teach lyrically the way you dance and mm -hmm. you dance and she'll demonstrate if you can't do it and being back in the studio with them young people and sharing the passion and seeing and, and in the same college that i was there and i had I'm to sure. turn down the thing i was like oh. i'm sure so then she, a lot of... it was like it drip and then in the second year we didn't need the body because my body had recovered but i think that's about a spiritual kind of Again, it's a hoo hoo for people who aren't hoo hoo ha. Yeah. You know, I say that with respect and with you know joy, because I am very much a spiritual person, and it it, it it's about a wellness and an and an awareness of everything that's inner and outer and all those things that we can call upon to help ground us and serve and be well. You know, yeah. so so the long winded. I suppose that's a longer version, but you know, now I want to empower women you know who may be thinking about children who are lifting the pill pill buck every day mm -hmm. and are had the tears that i've shared you know that can't not get upset but can't get out of bed right because it's just, so, it's painful just so painful yeah. to move mm. you know i had help cutting food or fastening a bra just just little the simple things, things yeah that you take for granted yeah and there's so many women out there and i think I was so busy being positive and focusing on a career thing that I didn't really spend the time to share the story to help 
others. Yeah. And I think now is a nice now time. Now is that time. Yeah, to Well, kind I am of... so glad you're here. You're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Christine Kearns from Leap Wellness, sharing her story of holistic wellness. Um, she was, uh, you just heard the entire story here. Um, what did you learn that were some of the components that was causing the inflammation and, and, and the arthritis and the pain and whatnot. So clearly it's oh. what you were putting in our bodies and what, you know, we as humans um, put in our bodies. So uh, what has been, what, what was it that you would eat and you would feel that offset of, up oh, up oh, here it comes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I nicknamed it Arthur. Okay. <laughs> Here's Arthur. Here's Arthur. <laughs> He's back. I love you, but go. <laughs> Go That's away funny. for a little while. We'll visit next time I have a glass of wine when yeah. I know you're going to come, but go away for right now. So anyway, so acidity is a main thing. So okay. an acid-free diet, diet was what I learned. So, so there's a lot of fruit that has. Exactly. So I'm afraid goodbye, goodbye to oranges. oranges. But hello to pears. Hello, okay. bananas. Hello, you know, okay. um, a lot of berries that you can have. So citrus is a no, uh -huh. um, but the gluten-free diet, mm -hmm. it was the thing that completely shook me in a good way mm -hmm. and really kind of, so what happens is the body, the body as a car, yeah, yeah. and the food is the petrol okay. or the gas, yeah? Yes. So what we put in the body helps us go right. or not. Or not, right. If we're diseased. So if you are, you got a car, you're putting in 87, 89 yep. or 93. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And you don't put diesel in a petrol car, yeah? Right. So if you put red wine in a uh, in a body that's is you know that autoimmune that acidity is seen the body sees the components that inflame the body as the enemy. Okay. So the body protects itself with the inflammation. Mm. So it goes, I don't like that. What is that? Oh mm. my goodness. And it freaks out and therefore swells, swells mm -hmm. to protect, protect. Okay. the lining of the body. What happens is in the joints that isn't the disease there, the body thinks it's actually protecting itself if we look at it from a loving way. Okay. The body, like, okay, if you fall over and you get a swelling or you, right. you know, hit and you get a bruise, yeah? Right. The body thinks something is there. It's a foreign activity uh, in that uh -huh. cellular level. So the body swells in order to protect it. When the body then swells, the pressure is put on the joint cavity, which causes the deformity, the pain and the deformity because there's so much pressure mm. on that joint cavity. That's what causes the pain. So foreign enemy like things that will flare an autoimmune body is things like um, tomatoes, tomatoes, mm -hmm. um, acidic things, um, caffeine, okay. um, gluten, wheat products. Mm -hmm. That seems to be the main one. They're the main things. But the things that we like to talk about what we can eat, because people go, oh, this KG, this is too hard. You must eat. You're so skinny. You must just eat lettuce. And right. I used to laugh. I'd be like, ah. Oh. But actually, in 2018, there is so much. You go to the farmer's market. Mm -hmm. You have all the vegan stuff, but you can eat meat. You know, right. I eat chicken. I eat, you know, organic food. And again, it's the it's the thing about, you know, you don't want to eat a piece of meat that unfortunately has had a stressed environment mm -hmm. that has got freak out going on in the body and we're consuming it, yeah? Mm -hmm. So all that kind of um, organic good foods and all that stuff is really important. So everyone can find their own meat, you know, what works. A lot of greens, a lot of um, just a lot of goodness and mm -hmm. earthy things. Hence goodness the nourish. and earthy. Nothing processed. No, Nothing processed. Mm -mm, mm -mm, no um, McDonald's. Ugh. Yeah. No. No. no you nothing know. GMO. Not, none of that. Because no I GMO. really believe yeah. that you know all of these genetically modified you know foods that we're eating is the reason why I can't tell the difference between a 16 year old and a 26 year old. Exactly. And I know. Oh, my goodness. So I'm I'm teaching currently in a program I run in Casey. And these kids are they're, taller they're yeah. and bigger yeah. than like 
me and my husband and my father and uh, my family. Yeah. I'm like, what? They're it's man the, childs. Man childs, man. And it's it's you know you, it's nice to see them, but then you think, whoa. You know, the, the, they're accelerating at a rate. A rate that's yeah, kind of physically accelerating physically. at a rate just so fast. But mentally, you're still an adolescent. Of course. Of course. Yeah. And you're easily mistaken for a an child. An adult. Yeah. It, it, that's crazy. crazy. You're listening to Access Houston talking to Christine Kearns from Leap Wellness. So um, now with this journey and you want to empower women to, you know, do what they have to do to stay healthy or if they're going through. So um, what is your, uh, what is the initiative or what is your plan um, with spreading the word of holistic wellness? So what I've been working on is a series of wellness events. Okay. But from a perspective of fun, interactive, positive experiences where women can come and learn and hear from practitioners, experts in fields, about the ways in which they can get help. So some women, it, this can reach to all women on all levels, by the way. This doesn't have to be an autoimmune-focused thing. This is about a woman who wants to live a full, well, healthy expression for herself yes. and her family. Mm-hmm. So we're going to be hosting some um, holistic wellness kind of educational events Okay. with some partners here in Houston. We're, we're going to be working with Define Body and Mind. Um, Henry Richardson, I've discovered them. I've been in Houston four years and they have been my savior in terms of my community here. Okay. You know, I, I work out, I love it. I love the, the passion and the what they do for, for individuals is, is fantastic. And my body is, is got even more kind of flexible through their bar classes. So oh, that's great. It's yeah. it, the the journey I've come through is certainly since postpartum is wow, like my body's learning to the ballet dancer things coming back and I'm like, how is that even possible? Having I guess muscle years, memory, man. Muscle memory, joint memory, positive me- I don't know whether it's that I'm looking at the guys in the class who are doing it and I'm thinking, well I wanna maybe try and I'm focused on a positive kind of nurturing mindful practice Mm -hmm. you know so i'm really interested and motivated to support and empower women to try and work out or try and that could be a walk in a park that could be something as simple as that that could be just i love whataburger by the way (laughs) (laughs) i know i've talked about you know food but i came here and one day i fell off the wagon because i had to taste the texas beef Uh and it was so good but as someone who can't eat Eat it it, yeah it doesn't like my body doesn't like it but it doesn't mean to say Mm, my husband loves it by the way tastes tastes great (laughs) just have less whataburger or you know try an organic chicken instead of a right, you know, a larger chicken that's a GMO thing. Yeah, I I don't like those. That's just crazy. No. I mean, I had chicken tenders the other day, Christine, and they were so huge. And I'm like, but, but why? <laughs> why? Why? Why and how? It, and why? I know. It 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 is it is it's so crazy. Crazy but, crazy. Um, I I definitely see and feel the shift or the pendulum swinging back to um, holistic wellness and, and just eating right. I mean, I, I have so many friends myself who are, um, that they have their own garden. Beautiful. And that's so you know? easy to do, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's so much cheaper. Instead and, of yeah. p- paying all of that money at Whole Foods, just spend that same money for less yeah. to start your, you know, yeah. your own garden. So they're doing um, gardening. They're just, um, finding more natural holistic ways to um to treat things and so i am i'm all here for it i'm definitely i am here for it i always say that as long as things are for profit we'll Mm -hmm. never get the full truth Mm -hmm. and this is a very interesting thing with what i'm 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 doing is i want to set up the non-profit aspect of leap wellness leap standing for it's something that you need to leap mm-hmm. fearlessly into and free fall with the faith of yourself. Now, is and leap the, an acronym? Yeah. So leap into wellness. Take that chance to 
take that step, yeah? Okay. But make a big step. Don't just okay. dip your toe. Take a big step. Leave. But live, live, mm-hmm. empower, mm-hmm. aspire people. Ah. So by your story, so we want to interview others who are doing that. You sure. know, this isn't about me. This is about people who are out there, you know, doing this stuff in that way. Like, you know, Henry Richardson, like Hilary Hampel, like... Christine Brian McKenna, <laughs> like AG. You know, people who are spreading the positivity in their own beautiful way to help cleanse, heal, nourish the body mind so yeah. we can all thrive. Yeah. So so the, the non-profit aspect will be fundraising to support women who may need help to pay for those practices, children, awareness, putting on events. It'll be very much a you know, a, a kind of uh, a circular service, Okay. I you understand. know, in terms of its mission. Sure. Um, and the events is, is the kind of first step in that as an education. We'd like to educate young people mm-hmm. so they can get excited about eating yeah. greens. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I know there's wonderful, there's um, is it the recipe for success. There's already things out in Houston that are doing that. Mm-hmm. So our kind of offer is is basically a coaching kind of um holistic supporting inspiring arm, I guess, from an educational events perspective. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm working with the partners and the and the organizations out there doing that. Well, once you guys get everything, you know, uh, signed, sealed and delivered and solidified and etched in stone. You'll come back and yeah. we'll talk about it. That's wonderful. Of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I thank, thank you so you. much for your time. I mean, we we've ta- we've talked the whole segment. We've got to wrap this thing up. <laughs> the lovely, talented, and very brave Christine Kearns of Leap Wellness. Thank you for coming on the program and sharing your story. Thank I'm you. sure that you have touched a lot of lives or, or just people, women listening. Like you know what that she is me. So let me take those steps. So I I thank you for uh, helping us get the word out. Thank you. And just before I go, I forgot. Sorry. The social media handle for those who like want to follow the journey and share. Please share. You know, I had shame for so long about this stuff. Mm -hmm. We feel we feel shame. We feel Mm -hmm. all of that stuff. Let's let's share and support. Yes. And be there for each other. And what is it? And it's nourish with nature life on Instagram. Okay. And nourish with nature on Facebook and such. So you can find us there. And Leap Wellness is the Facebook group for right now. Follow them on Instagram. This is an Instagram audience right here. Instagram, yeah. So so nourish with nature. With nature life life on Instagram. The lovely Christine Kearns. Thank Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for listening to Access Houston.